and good morning yes there's nothing wrong with my sound here it's me thinking uh, I posted a video yesterday and I got a good bit of uh, pushback on it as I didn't know what the heck I was doing and so I wanted to try this on things that made a little more sense to me um, basically because more than anything else, um, it's counterintuitive with the Blenheim as to how to get the best use out of it. Now you'll notice I've gotten pretty well torn up here, uh, but we have captured two bases before you could really blink twice. Um, and to those of you that have disagreed with me, by God, give me more of it. All right, I don't mind the fact that you <clears throat> disagree with me. I really don't. Um, I'm not always right. But for, uh, if you're going to uh, uh, dislike the video and give me a, a thumbs down, I'm fine with that. Uh, but let me know why. Give me your thoughts. I'm the last guy on earth that thinks I'm, uh, you know, too smart for the rest of the public, and I still learn things on a daily basis. So t give me your thoughts. Maybe I am wrong. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact that you watch them. I just found it fascinating that you could actually use this bomber in this way and get some pretty go uh, good results out of it. <coughs> Excuse me there. Ah, okay. That being said, uh, I have now gotten my uh, one of them uh, through this, and we're going to go make another low-level pass at what I think should be some pretty tough targets and I am down to the last 30 percent of my health and everything tells me that this is a suicide run might be but I wanted to show that this isn't a uh, flash in the pan sort of thing that the reason that I said this I did get blown up. Was that I was having repeated success with it. So let's just go in again. Maybe it was all a mistake and I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not going to be the first time. Okay, so let's get to it. coming in and there are three targets in a row here and we're going to try to take them out in one pass lovely boost of what you have so much of. Yeah, 
Heck, I might be wrong. Might be. I've been wrong before, but I'm perfectly willing to be wrong again. Okay, so we got that base back. And we have bombs again. So we're going to make a bombing run on this area. Your side's lined up for some success. And that's it. So we can just observe. And see what I actually accomplished. Now conversely, when we finish this up, I am going to do a high level bombing with the uh, bottom and see which is more effective. Now you'll notice this is a very tightly run game. We 21 points separating us and we are closing on them because we control three caps and they control two. And now it is 15 points on an 800-point uh, game. We're six points apart, three points apart. We have parity. We're three points ahead. And we won. Great job today. We'll be waiting for you back home. Now, let's go back to the hangar and see what I actually did. <coughs> Ground targets destroyed 17. Assistance in destroying, uh, four. Sectors captured, four. We've got some skill points we can deploy here. Almost 100,000. 5107 with the multiplier for the first uh, victory with this aircraft. I'm going to take one more look at this. Yeah, 
17 ground targets destroyed. And uh, 20, might as well say 21,000 uh, damage. Okay. Now I got some real help out of here with the FA2 X Polis X. Uh, Dago GS uh, got uh, <coughs> some 12,000 points. Uh, and you'll notice these are all tier 3. Okay. Let's take care of my tail gunner. So we got the quick reflexes on there. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's go back to battle. <coughs> now you can run this aircraft very easily, 8,000 feet. It makes it pretty tough for other aircraft to get at you. And, by the way, I really want to hear your thoughts. If you think I'm doing this all wrong and I shouldn't be doing this at all and I shouldn't be showing this, that's fine. But tell me why. I'm open to your suggestions. I really want to hear them. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm not being snarky at all. I really want to hear them. Uh, I think it's important. Nobody is right or wrong all the time. And part of the problem that I have here in America, we have a political system that's so broken it's not funny right now. Um, everybody's convinced that they're correct, that the other side's wrong, and they yell at each other constantly, and nobody's listening, which is the worst part of it. If you go back and you listen to your internet channels where, you know, they take one side or the other, you know... And it's like the other side can never have a good idea. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I'm not like that. I really do want to hear your opinion. Um, and if you have a different way for me to do it, I want to hear it. I want to try it. I want to perfect it. And I want to show it. So by all means, tell me what you think. But to me, knocking out 17 targets, not bad. Okay. Let's see what our opposition will be here. All threes again.
and we're going to claw for altitude as soon as it lets me and we'll head for the mining base Yeah, the heck with this. I really want to see what I can do against a mining base, guys. I may run a third, uh, second video on this and we'll throw them all together. That's fine. But I really uh, am immune to um, their anti aircraft fire. when I go low. <clears throat> and I have a very little time before I can uh, get my bombs back. Oops, but, yeah, it's not the most nimble of planes, and I screw up with this regularly. Okay, so let's go again. Finish this thing up the way it should be finished up. I only have two bombs. By the time I get there, I'll have my bombs back. And I'm not using boost because I want to get my bombs back before I show up. Now there is no bomb sight uh, when you're flying this low with a bomber. They weren't intended to be used this way, obviously. But that does it. I'm done. We have captured the mining base. All right. Let's see what else we have out there. And part of it is the sheer accuracy that I get out of this, okay? Um,
Guys, I don't want to rain on anybody's parade here, but to me, this seems to be working. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. But I keep having so much success with this technique, and part of it is the fact that this was an age where a, when this bomber was first built, it was built as a fast bomber. And a lot of the aircraft, fighter aircraft, don't seem to be able to keep up with it very well. Uh, you add to it, uh, when you get used to <coughs> bombing with the thing, you really do have uh, an extremely accurate, and there's no sight. I mean, it's just what I learned. Let's go back to the hangar and let's take one more look at it. Okay, we destroyed 10 uh, ground targets. Uh, we captured two sectors. Did 17,000 points of damage to it. It was a very short game, by the way. 400 point game, or half the points that you see in the longest game. Um, smacked into the side of a uh, tower, which I uh, consequently... Uh, We do get this from time to time, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm just not sure. It just seems to work for me. Give it a try. If you don't, tell me how I could do better. But in a 400-point game, and that's two consecutive games now, and... Uh, the two that you saw uh, last night, this seems to work. I was kind of resistant to it, too, when Explorator 1 showed it to me. But, uh, you know, it seems like a winning formula to me. And to the degree that I am wrong, then I'm wrong. Um, like I said, I don't really mind being... Um, wrong, but I, uh, you know, guys, sh show me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. Uh, just let me know. Heck, it doesn't hurt my feelings any. Just let me know how to. But anyway, I wanted to show you that this is not a one-off. I didn't have one lucky game and put it up. I had actually done this for two days before I put up the first set of videos. And this is another set. If you want, I'll put up a couple more. Um, but that's where I sit with things right at the moment. Uh, so I do thank you. And appreciate the fact that you're uh, you're watching. And even uh, appreciate the fact that when you disagree with me. Okay, I really do. Uh, it's important to me that... I am responsive to your needs and uh, more than willing to talk with you about it or put up the video that you want to see um, with me using the aircraft in the way you want to see it used. Uh, but right now where I sit with the Blenheim is it's one hell of a ground attack aircraft. <laughs> yeah. But you got to remember here, folks, that a lot of these, uh, the fighters and what have you here, aren't particularly... Um, don't have a lot of defensive or don't have a lot of firepower and that's part of what makes this possible the speed differential uh i'm coming in on some of these targets at uh almost 300 miles an hour the average fighter can't keep up with you so you make your bombing runs and it wins for me i mean i'm having some trouble here understanding what i'm doing wrong that you guys are disagreeing with uh, it's food for thought, and I, I love the controversy. I love the fact that you guys uh, think I'm wrong, and uh, I'm more than willing to uh, to discuss it further and put up more videos on how you guys think it should be done. Let me know.
I look very forward to seeing you again. You will find the very unfriendly skies of Tyronin. And we'll see you tomorrow.